the Instant Isk series, tactics and guides aspiring traders can use immediately to boost profits. In this video, we'll be looking at competition scouting. So what is competition scouting and how will it actually affect how much ISK you can make as an aspiring EVE Online trader? Well I'll cover exactly how much ISK you can make towards the end of the video which is about 90 seconds away so seriously stay tuned. Now here's a scene for you, picture this. You found a great miner hub to set up shop in and sell 50, 60, maybe even 100 different items. Profit margins are good and there's a decent amount of customers in the local area too and the competition isn't too crazy. The only challenge you face is one or two annoying market players who update their orders almost daily or perhaps even more than once per day. In short, you're not at the top of the sellers list with the lowest prices really enough to justify staying in that area. So what do you do? The basic process is locate, add, surveillance, adapt. Let's hit them in order. Locate, find out exactly who your competition is. Over the course of a few days, whenever your items get undercut, simply buy an item across the range at your cell. Not everything, mind you, but say five to 10 different items per day. Check out who the sellers are in your transaction logs and you'll get a pretty accurate shortlist of who your competition is. Next step, add. Add them to your watch list. Just right click their name in the transaction window and follow the menu down like so until you find and select add contact. Check this box and then hit the add contact button. Why do this? Because they'll pop up in your lower right corner when they log on and log off. You'll be able to look at your contacts list and see who was online at any given time. Surveillance. Watching their movements. This is why we took the last step to add them to our watch list. Pay attention to their movements over a few days to a week and you'll get a feel for when they log on and importantly when they normally log off. Adapt. So you know who your competition is and when they usually log off for the night. You simply update your orders to match the times when they're gone. This allows you to stay on top of the sellers list sometimes for many more hours in the day and that absolutely makes a difference to your bottom line. How much difference? Well, this is an art and not an exact science, so there's a lot of variables and grey areas, but just relax before you start trolling in the comments section below and we'll look at some figures to get a general feel for things. Let's use the EVE Mogul Premium Trading Tutorials as an example. Towards the end of that video program, after 34 days and starting with only 10 million ISK, we were pulling in around 1.5 billion ISK in profits per month. So let's assume that if we figure out the times the competition logs off for the night, we reset our orders to be top of the list, we might get another 8 hours on top before the competition undercuts us again. 8 hours is a third of a day, so using some dodgy quick maths, we could assume our profits could increase by a third. Let's say you only have to do this on one of the three minor hubs you're active in, so your one third increase would become one ninth profit increase. Call it one tenth to push a little closer to worst case scenario. So a 1.5 billion profit, that means we'll be pulling in an extra 150 million esque profit per month. Stretch that out over 12 months in a year and you're up to 1.8 billion extra profit a year or three plexes plus change, and that's winning. Sure, it's not an exact science and you may not get a bottom line increase of 10%, but if you follow the tactic above, you'll absolutely end up with more cash in your account. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as I'll be bringing out more instant ISK videos just like this one. And also check out the blog and video series for aspiring traders at evemogul.com.